story a day changing our world through storytelling at table mofra excellence foundation organized the mofra excellence awards which acknowledged the unique achievements of children kabla a class six pupil of Nkrofu LA manufactured a motorbike from bamboo and was one of the awardees. When he received the invitation to travel to Accra to receive his award, he could not hide his joy. He was also told that the awardees would have lunch with the organizers and sponsors at the Labadi Beach Hotel. His auntie, Ekuba, praised Kabla for his outstanding performance and the honor he brought to the family when she picked him at the STC yard. She drove Kabla through town and that was his first time in Accra. Kabla was happy to be in Accra and wished he would not go back to Nkofu. When they got home, Kabla freshened up and Auntie Ekuba asked him to join her at table for supper. Auntie Ekuba paused for a moment. She furrowed her brows at the manner in which Kabla munched on the food. She had to address this after supper. Kabla, she said. I understand you'll be going for lunch with the organizers, sponsors, and the other awardees. Auntie Ekuba asked. Yes, Auntie, and I'm looking forward to it. Kamala replied. Remind me tomorrow at breakfast to take you through the do's and don'ts at table so you do not go disgracing yourself. He grinned and cleared the table. He kept imagining how the ceremony would turn out. Auntie Ekuba set the table for breakfast the next day together with Kabla. He reminded her that she would take him through some table manners and Auntie Ekuba had not forgotten. Auntie Ekuba asked Kabla to sit up straight with the chair pushed in and elbows off the table. Kabla did as instructed. Auntie Kuba continued. When you are asked to pass dishes of food, pass it to the right. Place the fork in your left hand and the knife in your right hand and make sure the tines face upwards unless you have to cut. Cut the food into small bits and avoid putting large portions in your mouth. Chew with your mouth closed and avoid making loud chewing or smacking noises. Cut your food with the knife in your right hand and fork in your left hand. She watched Kabla practice and was impressed. Auntie Kuba, please, is that all? He asked. She paused for a moment and said, do not begin eating until everyone is seated and let the host be the lead. If the meal is to be served individually, do not start eating until everyone at the table has been served. Do not reach across the table or in front of someone else. Ask for items to be passed to you. Do not talk with food in your mouth. Kamala nodded and tried to repeat all that he was told. After breakfast, Auntie Ekuba gave Kamala a pair of black trouser, a pair of black socks, a bow tie, and a beautiful kente sewn blazer. 
She went back to her room to get prepared and saw the white shirt on her bed. She called Kabla and gave it to him and asked him not to waste time. Kabla looked stunning. He kept admiring his reflection. Auntie Akuba was ready and called Kabla to find out if he was done. Kabla rushed to the hall to meet his auntie. Auntie Akuba screamed, Hey, farm boy! Nkrofu Boga, Kabla, is that you? You look good. Let's take some pictures together. Kabla thanked Auntie Akuba for his outfit and they left. When the ceremony was over, they set off to Labadi Beach Hotel for lunch. Auntie Akuba whispered to Kamala, do not forget the do's and don'ts at table. My dear friends, we must learn these basic table manners. You never know where you may find yourself. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share your comments are also appreciated a story a day changing our world through storytelling